have footage of when she was <laughs> when she was a little <laughs> kitten doing this. <laughs> she she was like a tenth of the size she is now. Look at my uh, gargoyle sitting out on the porch collecting dust. I never got it molded. I was going to mold it, cast it in resin. It never got dead. But it keeps the Jehovah's Witnesses away. That's kind of a Harryhausen, Harryhausen look to it, kind of. Gee, I wonder why, only because that's the, he was my idol. Then we have this stuff that's been sitting out here for, since I moved here in 2004. There's a raptor I did. It's all falling apart out here. I thought I was going to move this year and I wasn't going to take all this crap with me so maybe it's good. His jaw is broken, hanging loose. Fingers broken, hanging loose. That was life size. It's really not that good, but it's kind of cool, I guess, maybe, I don't know. It's really dusty and neglected. And here's my dragon I did. Again, never really did anything with it. It's another one I was going to mold in resin. It was, never had the money. It, it, it was a way to while away the long winter winters here in Iowa which are now getting progressively worse so I so I'm thinking about taking up another project but as I said this thing has been sitting out here collecting dust along with the other stuff along with the mountain lion here You can see on this dragon, because it's been sitting through one temperature extreme to another, winter, summer, winter, summer, since I moved it in here in 2004. And you can just see where the, the wings are drooping over now. Because they weren't, they were just, I didn't reinforce them, they were just cardboard. It was just, it was just cardboard. Originally they were standing out like that. I don't know how Alvy's got to investigate. Go ahead. There she is, on top of the world. On the dragon head. She's eating the dragon. <laughs> 